This is a great day for Acton Agudosi. The Christopher Colombo Revadoro Library is opening on Upper Crown Valley Road. Boy, that looks good. How long did it take you to make all of those? Days. Days, days and days? days. Uh huh. Oh, Carly, what great honor to uh, be the first horse and rider to come into the Acton Agudosi Library. No. Uh huh. What's your horse's name? My horse's name is Excalibur. Today. Excalibur? Right. Okay. Well, what's your name today? My name's Rachel. Uh huh. Last name? Darnell. Okay. Rachel, what's your horse's name? Freckles. Came out for a ride and discovered the library and thought we'd join. Uh huh. See well. What's going on today? The only library in LA County with a hitching post. That sounds great. And that's Go in and tie them up and read a book. What brings you to the opening today? Same thing. Kimberly and I were out riding. We discovered they were having the opening, so we thought we'd come down here because we knew there was going to be a qu an equestrian hitching post and water and so forth, so uh -huh. we joined the festivities. Arthur is a horse that we rescued. Okay. Uh, it was in a truck going to a slaughterhouse. Really? In Mexico. Uh-huh. And we rescued him. Uh-huh. And you've kept him at your place? Yes, we did. I think this is great for the community. I think that it's got a wonderful thing for the kids, and I think they're going to enjoy it. Do you build other libraries? We or? have built other libraries in the Midwest as uh -huh. well, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a great thing for the kids. Have you ever built one with a hitching post for horses? We have not. Ah! This is this is unique to the community, and uh, we're just we're we're very fortunate that we're a part of this project, and we're really proud of what how it came out. What do you think of the final outcome? I think it looks beautiful. I think it's a project that the city of Acton and the county of Los Angeles can be very proud of. What do you of. think of this Acton Agudosi oh, this Library? This is beautiful. This uh -huh. is really beautiful. This is a beautiful library. Uh -huh. I know it's going to be good for the community oh, yeah. and for the young people who come here to study and to learn and to grow. This uh -huh. is a very, very nice facility. Mm -hmm. We're happy to be a part of it. Well, Mike, uh, Mr. Antonovich was a big part of it, as you know, and we very much appreciate that here. Well, he believes in uh, public safety is our number one priority, but parks, and trails, and libraries are all vital as well. And we uh -huh. have to continue, and we will, providing these services to the community. Reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 2, it says, It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but it is the honor of kings to search it out. And here at the Acton Foursquare Library, it will provide such opportunity for everyone to search out knowledge, to search out wisdom. A, a day that many of you waited for, and it has finally arrived, but it arrived because we continue to have the full support of the community, and having a Friends of Library begin before we even had a library showed the dedication and the commitment that the community had for this library, having your superintendent of instruction and having the children here makes it a community library, especially when you have the corral over here on my left. <laughs> but the uh, Bevedora family growing up in the area saw a need and they came forward and they prevented, they presented this property so that today we have a property that is housing over 81,000 books that you have access to to ensure that we have education for, of the past, with the present, and for the future. Mike Antonovich is at the podium, uh, introducing all the dignitaries, the people that helped build the Actonagodosi Library, thanking the friends of the library and the Prevedoro family for the donation of the property. Barbara Evans, Linda Ewing, Kate Fandino, Fred and Peggy Fate, Jane Fernandez, Marilyn Garner, Arlene Griffin, Steve and Linda Harbison, Linda Hitzman, Charlene Houston, Kathy Howell, Lee Jennings, Gail Joyce. This is what it takes to build a library, everybody. Tana Lampton. Kent and Sandy Madsen, Sherry Mercier, Kathy Milligan, Marilyn Morgan, Dick Morris, George Mouchette, Debbie Rocha, Denise Sador, Leona Sexton, 
Tina Seibel, Barbara Stoner, Sharon Wilson, all members of your community. On behalf of Kathy Brevadoro, her father, Robert Brevadoro, my father, John Brevadoro, and my grandfa uh, grandparents, Chris and Ida Brevadoro, uh, we are humbled and honored to be here today. We'd also like to thank uh, some people today. We'd like to thank the friends of the library, first of all. Uh, Robert Seal, I'd like to thank him for all he's done for our family. Uh, Supervisor Antonovich and all his staff, thank you so much the LA Arts Commission, all the staff members uh, of the library and all the, the county staff, we appreciate. And to those who received the awards, we really, really appreciate it. My grandfather and grandmother, and I think Kathy would agree, would be so proud to see all the folks here today. And my grandmother would be especially proud to see all the kids. I think she really, she really loved children and we look forward to them using the library for many years to come. Uh, it wouldn't be complete without recognition of the people who started the, or had the vision 10 years ago to uh, instigate a Friends of the Library. And to the founding president, uh, Denise Sador, who unfortunately does not live in California anymore, uh, I would like to acknowledge her, Frank and Janice Solnerovich, who uh, worked on the, um, the board for several years, and Sharon Wilson, who also worked with us and uh, led us to, started the idea that led us to this day. On behalf of the entire Board of Trustees and our Superintendent Brent Woodard, I'd like to thank uh, Supervisor Antonovich and all of the uh, government officials from the county who are present here today. Uh, I'd also like to recognize all of the citizens that are here, including those that participated so, uh, so much in getting this library to become a reality. But I'd also like to make special note of who is here today, and that are uh, those are our children who are in the audience and their parents, <laughs> students from each one of our schools uh, in the school district, uh, and it, it, it lends itself to the excitement uh, that is in the community in regard to this library. To our county librarian, do we have our check and Margaret? <laughs> uh, to present a check in the amount of fifteen thousand dollars to support. Uh, the computer workstations that are housed within our library. I just wanted to tell you how pleased we are to be part of the opening of this wonderful facility here. Um, and I'm here on behalf of Edison to present a check of $25,000 to the friends of the Acton Agua Dulce Library for their Celestial Exploration Program. Uh, this program is going to bring learning opportunities to the rural communities of Acton, Agua Dulce, and beyond. And Edison, we are just be very honored to be part of this exciting program and special day in the community. We again want to thank the friends. They also provided the refreshments today, so we're appreciative of that. Now the community is invited after our ribbon cutting ceremony to a day of entertainment with special programming from magician Gerald Scheller and the Wildlife Company. The friends of the library will be here to provide tours of the library. Thank you, have a great day, and if you can just wait patiently, we will do our ribbon cutting ceremony. Hold it tight, hold it tight. Thank you.